Are you tired of hearing about Etsy as the go-to way to start an online business or perhaps you don't even have access to the platform? What if I told you there's a brand new way to build a successful AI-powered print-on-demand business without spending a single dime on inventory or platform fees? It's 2024 and the game has changed. In today's video, I'm going to show you how beginners and even seasoned business owners are ditching Etsy and embracing this innovation approach by leveraging AI they're creating custom products and automating sales all for free yes you heard that right no upfront costs no hidden fees no complicated stores and the best part no handling customer support you won't want to miss any part of this tutorial so let's dive right in to get started you need a niche a winning product a great design to go on the product a place to sell the product a great supplier and paying customers so how do you find a niche because identifying who your target audience is will determine whether you will succeed or fail there are two ways to do this. If you have some form of following on different social media platforms discussing a specific topic, you already have a niche and a target audience. This means you must have done your niche research before now. However, if you are just starting and don't have an audience, comprehensive niche research is required. And I like to do that using the Etsy platform because the sales information are public and easy to help you narrow down to what is working and what is not. Looking at this particular store, for example, they make about $36,112 monthly in revenue as at the time of recording. Selling motivational quotes and phrases on different print-on-demand items, including sweatshirts. This will be the niche we will be using as a case study in this video. Tip to note, selling things like shirts can be quite competitive, so reviewing a store or listing that is doing well does not mean you should copy them, Mayin, but get inspiration to create something similar but different. By the way, if you're new here, I am Zinni and I make videos on how to use AI to create different types of faceless YouTube channels as well have online businesses to help you generate additional income. If this type of topic interests you, make sure to like and subscribe to get more videos just like this one. Identifying a niche is one thing, but what product type should you sell? To help you get started, visit the Printify catalog page, which is the print provider we will be using today. You will notice an endless amount of blank products to put your design on. However, the strategy is to focus on popular products with good profit margins like mugs, t-shirts and sweatshirts because if you want to make money, you have to sell a product that people want to buy. Another tip is as a beginner, you might want to use just one product type and a maximum of between five to six colors. Don't fall for the shiny object syndrome because you don't want to waste time focusing on different products and miss sales. Also, don't provide too many color variations to your customers because they will end up being so overwhelmed that they don't buy anything. So for this video, I will be using sweatshirts as an example and a few pastel colors. It's time to create designs that will go on the products. I will be using Ideogram AI. They recently released a new model which creates stunning pod designs and also provides everyone with a free plan that gives you 10 credits credits per day which you can use to generate up to 40 images you can use commercially in a day. Once you sign up and get to this page, you can use this box to put in your prompt. This is the prompt I will be using. I would like to create a motivational quote that says, fuel your day with positivity. After pasting and modifying your prompt, on the right hand side there are a couple of settings you can set up to give the best results. First, under model, make sure you choose 2.0 for the magic prompt. You can either use auto or on. For auto, it gives you different variations of the design. For on, it gives you a specific and similar aesthetics of, of the design. I will choose auto. For the aspect ratio, since we are designing for a sweatshirt, I will choose 4 by 5 aspect ratio. For the color palette, if you have your brand color you want to implement, you can go ahead and input that and use it. Otherwise, leave it as auto. For rendering, I will leave it as default and click on generate. Four images will be generated and then you can choose the one you like. 
otherwise you can regenerate till you get the result you want then click on the desired image then the three dots and download once the image is downloaded we need to do quick prepping on it before use first remove the background which you can do with a free image background remover like remove.bg just upload the image it will remove the background and then click on download Next is to vectorize the image using a free vectorizer by Creative Fabrica. Once you get to the website, upload your image and once the process is done, download the vector and you are good to go. The essence of this step is to have an image quality that can scale to any size. Next is where the new process comes into play. We will be using what is called a Printify pop-up store. This store is hosted and managed by Printify it works perfectly with social media traffic like YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and even Pinterest. This is how it works. Set up your store and share the link. Anytime you make a sale, Printify will handle everything and send you your profit. You don't have to pay an upfront cost or handle the production to customer service process. To set it up, come into your Printify account, which by the way, free to sign up. You can use the link below to follow along. Click on add a new store, then select launch pop-up store. Then type in the name of what you want to call your store and choose what your store theme would look like and Printify will create a mobile optimized pop-up store. Click here to see the store. As you can see, it's still empty and we need to add the products we want to sell to it. But before then, if you go back to the store and click on the gear, it will open up to the store setup, which allows you to do additional customization, like add your logo, social media links, tax identity information, payout method, which is normally through PayPal order settings you even design and add branded package inserts for when the product's being delivered and lastly you can create and add gift messages like coupons now back to the products click on browse products select the product type choose the printing company that you want to use and has the colors you want and click on start designing Upload your design, place it appropriately on the design canvas and select the right color variant. You can click here to preview it to see how it looks. You can change the mock-up background to something different or use the default white, then save. Go ahead to choose your default mock-up, write your title and description and for shipping, leave it as it is. For pricing, you can make modifications based on the profit margin you are targeting, then click on publish. Go ahead and refresh your store and see the listing. What a lot of people don't realize is that when you sell, say, a sweatshirt in your Etsy store, the print on demand platform that you connected to that store to then sell an item cannot access the money that the customer has paid you. Rather, you are the one to cover the upfront cost of that sweatshirt, printing and shipping using either your credit card or debit card because it takes about two days or even longer for Etsy to process the customer's payments and send them to your bank account. But what if you don't have any spare cash from these sources, which in some cases a lot of beginners struggle with, then using the Printify pop-up shop is a very good option for you because you're selling directly on the printer's website and once they receive the payments, they will deduct shipping and production costs from them, handle every other thing and send your profit to your PayPal account. This is a very simple way to get started and when you have tested your idea and start making sales and have a bit of money, you'll have to consider using an advanced platform like the Shopify Starter Store which gives you more flexibility in terms of custom, designing your website, adding your preferred mockup and adding a personalized domain name which currently is not possible with the Printify pop-up store your store is set up how then do you drive traffic to it because even if you are selling on etsy majority of the time sellers still run ads and promote their products on different social media platforms for more visibility and sales for this scenario you will leverage the social media platform you already have to promote your products 
platforms to start with will be your YouTube channel. If you already have one, which the majority of my subscribers are working towards, or you can use Pinterest. These are sources of free and organic traffic. Using this brand as an example, as you can see, they have a bit of a following on Pinterest, and this is just free marketing to their products. There are a lot of shops that market this way. You can easily create pins of your designs just like this using Canva and start posting immediately. To recap, we've explored how to set up your store for free, create custom products with AI and automate your business all without the usual fees and hassles. Now it's your turn to take action and get started. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more AI driven business tips. Have questions or success stories? Drop them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And before you go, check out the playlist I've put together with more resources to help you navigate the AI print on demand space. See you there.